about what Calora Gloss is, how to present it, the benefits, the selling points, every way that you can show this product to the fullest. Before we get started, I want everybody to understand one thing very important. This product is not here to duplicate anything. It stands alone as an innovative process that has gone on for over three years. We've realized that a lot of different companies are in the liquid demi business, or they're in the demi business. So we're not here to copy any other brand. We're here to offer something completely innovative and different. And today, Heather and I, I'm gonna get out of the way here so you guys can see, are going to show you how this product is different. First of all, don't try to over-educate yourself on this product. It's relatively very, very simple. And you're going to hear us repeat a lot of things over and over today. And if you know the points that's on this slide, you're going to be able to readily present this product. That being, at the very bottom, zero lift. The biggest problem that occurs in demis is that they will lift. And a hairdresser will know if they lift just a little bit. And they say to you guys, isn't this deposit only? But it's still lifting. This is zero lift. That being shine, conditioning, and alcohol and PPD free. If you do some research about our competitors in this particular category, you're going to notice that most of them have alcohol in it. Ladies and gentlemen, what does alcohol do to the hair? Right Smart people at EISS. <laughs> it does dry it out. So let's talk about what Calora Gloss does. First of all, four very simple features. And if you want to add anything, please jump right in. <laughs> she was at our big launch in Montreal working with us, so she is highly trained in this product. So if there's any technical issues or questions that you all have at any point, make sure you direct them to my colleague, Heather. Zero lift. Just as I said a minute ago, because of the makeup of a demi hair color, there is lift in a product at times. 100% alcohol and PPD free. We have a shine complex that is our own patent that I won't tell you why because it's a secret. And we have, this is really important, this acidic buffer technology that we're going to go into a little bit of detail about in just a second. The benefits of our product, shine and conditioning, it's very gentle long-lasting results and we circle back around to the zero lift okay i think that this selling point and it was raised just a minute ago we'll, let's right now just kind of get the elephant out of the room so what's the difference between this and shades eq because everybody wants to get the shades eq customer People have tried to do that for years and years and years, and they failed. If you go into any Shades EQ salon and say, we're better than you, chances are you're going to fail. Am I right on that? Yeah. What you need to do, and what we want you to do, is we want you to explain the difference between our product and what Shades EQ is, or what the Schwarzkopf Demi, Demi is, because you probably got that in some of your market. So we want them to understand how our product differs with theirs. <coughs> this is really important because we are using, using an acidic base in our product. Most Demis will go with an alkaline base. Anybody in here know why that is? Covers great. Helps cover great. It does, and it lasts longer. But with that being said, I'm going to give you the basis of the difference. This pH level is much higher. 
what happens is when the pH level rises, the longevity lasts. Is that redundant, longevity lasts? <laughs> but it, it, it will last longer. So basically, I'm going to just read to you something that will give you the simple explanation of the difference of the two. The acidic base, which we have built our product on, demis have pH levels of seven or lower with an acidic base. This causes them to result in ultimate shine and conditioning. But with that level being what it is, it will fade quicker. We've added this alkaline base with a buffer that we don't tell anybody how we did it. And with that, the demise with the alkaline base have a pH level of seven or higher. It will allow the product to last longer, but all these other things are lacking. Does everybody understand that? So it's an acidic base, but you've got a secret alkaline buffer that has been added to it to give it the longevity. You want to go on the road with me? I, let's do that. <laughs> Base. You're going to see it on here in a second. Okay. Yes. Okay, I was writing down what was on the screen and it said acidic buffer. Right. I said the wrong thing. I'm sorry. So it's not an alkaline buffer technology. Okay. The acidic buffer allows this to work. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But we are acidic base versus a lot of competitors being an alkaline base. It's very important. So when you have a line that you just change to the demi, that's an alkaline base? It just depends upon which one it is, who's, what company it is. It, I, they're varied. Say that louder for everybody. So two acidic molecules, uh, edotonic, uh, edotonic uh, something and a hydrolonic molecule that they use together in order to make it to where that's the buffer that allows it to be alkaline and acidic. It's edotonic and hydrolonic acid. That's what it is. And what, and what pH does it take it to at that point? Seven it's still or seven or less. All of the colors vary. Um, so there are some that are a little bit higher in pH, but all of the colors but you want to stay around a seven as well. Seven or less, yes. Which saying. generally, they're in that category. Yeah. And Shazy Q is a total alkaline base. I did. Total acid. Total acid. Total acid. Total acid. Total acid. So the difference Without is problem. we're going to last longer because we have this special. We have a, we have a secret. That's the key. Yes. Yes, there you go. Yeah, try not to get too far in the weeds on this. Bless you. It's an acid color, and they have a special buffered alkaline technology that lets you have great long lasting results, but it's an acid color. Is that okay? Exactly. Exactly. Shine and lo longevity. Which you guys know is the alcohol is a big difference. That's a very important point. And again, we're not trying, we don't want to stand here to bash another brand all morning, but we do want to give you the difference and that particular brand has a lot of alcohol. Okay. Thank you. Well, we, so we need to know that because, I mean, that's what, yeah. Do you guys know why hairstylists want zero lift? No, you tell yeah, yeah. Well, but what if they're telling her how to have double it? Break, breaks the base. Right. Uh, that's why. So it breaks the natural hair color and it makes it warm and then they see gold and then they're all upset because their hair is naturally ashy or cool tone. They use a toner that does lift and then it will expose the warmth in their hair and then their hair turns gold and they're mad. You hear that in the salons all the time, right, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry. Just exactly what Molly said. And also That's you don't get the line of demarcation. So even if you're just putting on someone with darker hair, if you were to use 10 volume or even the demi, you might see a line of demarcation when it grows out. But with this developer, you won't see that. You get no lift at all. So it just 
gently fades off the hair so you don't see any line of demarcation. Important point. Now, let me just throw this in. There's some people that use it to break the base. Is that possible with this? Yes. So we'll get to that, but okay. yeah, definitely. I mean, you yeah. hear both. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm? Yeah. Okay. Do most stylists know there's alcohol in the shades of here? If they read the bottle, they yeah. would. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, that's another thing, too, is fragrance. The bottom line is this, and we were discussing this before our presentation. Shade, yeah, Shades EQ has been there forever. You know, a couple of, or more than a couple, but some people have tried to go against it and have failed because of just what I said a minute ago is because they've walked in and said we've got a product that's better than Shade CQ. So you can't set yourself up that way. That's the reason we want you to know all this back pocket information and that way you can keep coming back to them with important things. Okay? So we're pretty good on technology at this point. We're going to go into it even a little bit more in a, in a few minutes. We really believe that nobody can compete against our shine factor. And once again, we have incorporated all of these elements into our shine complex. And you will notice just, and when we pass around our little girls here, this is the, you want to show them, this is what the quad mannequin looked like before and this is the after colors. So you're going to be able to see how well, there is no product on this mannequin. This is only color. So. So can we cut off little pieces of all that? Take <laughs> Heather will give you some. This one, this is my girl. I, she, she travels with me. She gets really peeved off when I check her in luggage too. We're attached. So wherever the um, gloss classes, like whoever's territory the gloss class is taking place in, you'll get to keep the mannequin from it. Just and if you want to look at the different formulas after a while, I've got the different colors on the bottom here. <laughs> That's smart. Thanks to Terry. Our, this was hers. She gave me. Our director of education and creative development, this is the one she did. So I snatched it. I got lucky. <laughs> She's got a good haircut. A really good haircut. So all of these are involved in the shine complex, and that too is a great selling point for our brand. Okay, let's talk about the shades and so forth. There are 58 intermixable shades. Actually, there are 57, and there's a clear. Like our Kalura Permanent Shine Color, all of our shades are intermixable. So with that being said, the hairstylist has every ability to create anything she wants or he wants with this particular palette of colors. This next topic is a little bit deceiving. I'm going to take this and kind of walk around the room and show them. It says 24 toners. I want to rephrase that to you guys. There are 24 blonding toners that are level 8, 9, and 10. All 58 serve as toners. Molly was talking about the toning situation a second ago. All of these colors are toners. But the 24 we're referring to here are considered our blonding toners. You know, we're one of the few companies that have a level 10 and in this particular palette. I see some head shaking. Somebody came out and beat us about three weeks ago with some level 10s. But ours are better. Yeah, they only have two. They only have two, so we've got a lot more. I'm glad you told me that because I didn't realize how many they had. They only so. have two, we have five. Right. Uh, Shades came out with theirs three weeks ago. They have a 10 BB and one other 10. We've got five. But it's an important point to remember when talking about this because they're going to say, well, only those 8, 9, and 10 will serve as toners. No, they're all toners, but levels 8, 9, and 10 are considered blonding toners. 
Things like that our education department caught after they saw this presentation. We have one clear. We are able to sell the clear in a 32 ounce or a 2 ounce. So if you have independent contractors that don't want to make the investment of a large clear, they can buy it as a 2 ounce as well. We have two developers. Originally, we were going to have a lotion developer only to only be used in a bottle. Uh, we changed our mind at the very end because we have some hair styling professionals out there that only want to use a bowl and a brush. If they want to use a bowl and a brush, we're going to take care of them. We have a cream developer as well. So they can choose which ones they want. We're going to talk a little bit more about those in a second. The developers only come in a 32 ounce. One thing I want to point out to you guys so you'll note, because hairstylists always notice things. The bottles for the, for the bottles for the clear are a thicker plastic because clear is like a color and it needs more protection. So it's the same color, is that right there? They're the same color. No, they're all the same. The clear is in a bottle just like this, and the two developers are in a bottle like this. We're going to tell you about that in just a second. Sarah, you got it going on. I didn't plan to use it, but would you guys like for me to mix up a one Yes. Yes. So I don't have a bowl and a brush, but I'm going to mix it up in this, and then we'll do the lotion in this one. So you're going to see the difference. How about that? We're here to take care of our friends at EISS. Exactly. <sighs> what we did with this to make it, you know, hairdressers are very visual. So on one, on one of these, which is the lotion, it has a little bottle on it. Oh, my God, that's going to help so much. Now, if they want a cream, it's got a bowl and a brush. <laughs> So we've, ma we've made this as simple as possible, folks. So when they look in their dispensary, if they don't want to read anything, they don't have to. That's good because we need that. They can just look here and see the difference. I, I, I did one of these launches down in Louisiana, and this DSC said, well, they're going to get them mixed up. They're going to have both of them. And I said, well, generally... I." I would think that the hairdresser will probably elect to use one or the other. Now, we hope that they buy them both, but generally they're going to be a, you know, a bottle person or a bowl and brush person, generally. So, so basically with the shades, they always do the bottles, so we're, they would do That's the lotion. Mm -hmm. okay. right. Do you know what the, the root smudging, though, they use the bowl and the brush okay. with the shades? Okay. So a nice tip. Any questions about the development system? Again, ladies and gentlemen, when I finish, you're going to go, oh, this is much simpler than I thought. Here we go. In our clear, which I told you a second ago, that the container is the same. However, when they feel the bottle, it may feel a little bit different. So now you're going to say, well, clear is considered a color. So we wanted the most protection for the color of, of that particular liquid. So it's a little bit thicker bottle. And I think everybody here understands how it is to be used. And this is a standalone product. If, you know, if they want a, a great service for shine or if they want any other kind of service, it can be used. And it can be used for any of these purposes. Heather, why porous hair types? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that question. No, he asked why, clear, why would they use clear hair, for... Absorb, dry hair grabs a hold of it. And sucks it up. So, yeah, it can over-absorb the pigment. So you keep it from grabbing so fast. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. And, and going, going darker, darker yeah. and then initially fading faster. Got it. Can you put a clear gloss on extension? Absolutely. Abs yeah. That That's a good point. Thank you. I'm going to share that with at other different launches. What was that now? Put it on extensions. There you go. 
So that's another way you could sell it. You can use, it's not going to hurt it. Shh, unlike Shades EQ, this doesn't build up on the hair. So this would be great. You can say that all day long because we can fashion it, it doesn't matter. No, and, and once again, I'm not here to, to do that, but I think everybody here knows Shades EQ just keeps layering and layering. And yes. That's kind of a, a good way to go, go through the back door on that point. Has anybody tried to remove it yet? Is it easy to remove? Meaning, <coughs> so with the competitor, uh, maybe you lighten your hair, put shades of Q on it, then you want to relighten your hair. It never fails. It's orange. You can see where the um, shades of Q has built up on the hair because it stays there. Uh, I'm assuming yours would it. At this point, I, I, I can't answer that because I don't know. I know we tested uh, uh, right now 1,200 heads. I will say this just to throw this out and hopefully we'll move on from it. Um, we tested at a salon that um, was in the Northeast um, that was actually um, totally, they came to our academy back last September. Uh, they have two locations. Um, they do about $125,000 a year in color purchases. They were a total Redken salon. They were also a Summit salon. We know about that Summit business. They had been drinking that Kool-Aid for several years. And um, they came to our academy and they completely switched everything on December 30th. Um, we went in because they were diehard Shades EQ. And last week we launched at Macello's and the two salon owners came in and did a presentation on how much they love this. Yeah. So it's, and we specifically targeted a lot of salons that were heavily endowed into that particular brand. Now we went up against a lot of other brands too. And I don't want, I want everybody here to understand we're going after all, everybody. Please understand that. It's just not one particular brand. We want you to present this to everyone. Everyone has shades now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's North and South Carolina. Let me tell you, I, I sold Shades EQ for 16 years. I, I made a lot of money on it. So. I do, I've done two bobacks with yeah. the, the Swartz cough, but like I said, no, it's Shades kind of. I understand. Talking about toning, and I'll let Heather interject here. I think we've discussed it. Um, once again, all of these shades are designed for toning. 24 are blonde toners. Everybody's clear on that. Um, you're probably going to find out, and we were talking uh, in Las Vegas, 80% of your business is going to come out of about 20 to 25 shades. When all the dust settles, we all know that. Because if you took, if you go into one of those competitor salons, they probably order the same 10 to 15 shades over and over and over, right? Anything you want to share about toning that we've not talked about? So, do you guys have any questions about? Okay, I've got a stupid question. I'm sorry, y'all. It's I not stupid. Okay, so I see what you're saying. 80% uh, comes from 20 to 25 shades. But with the Cool Wear Gloss, because I looked when I looked at the book, they've got all these other beautiful shades. Like, let's say we have Denise as our customer. And would we not use the gloss? I mean, can they not, even if they use, let's say they use Kuhn, can they not take that gloss and do that as their mid length to end? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like the beautiful reds and stuff Absolutely. Like that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I don't all of that. Sure. All of those services that you just mentioned. Okay. And that's a, that's a great question. Well, Thank you. Well, that way you don't have to, I mean, just to go in and sell it as all this blonde and stuff, it's like, oh my God, look what you can do here there. I mean, no, You've I'm got, it's it. endless possibilities. I just want to And we're going to talk about the white blending and the darker shades too. Okay, yeah. The thing about it is, is uh, you know, we tried to have a complete palette. And there was a lot of discussion for a long time. Should we only go with... 26 set shades or 28 shades or, you know, just like we uh, uh, changed the mind about the developers. 
actually, um, after these women in New England tested this product, we added two shades because they said you need to put this in, in this particular grouping to make sure that we have everything. So we've done our homework pretty well. I'm sure that, you know, um, I know that we've discussed going into next year and the following year, we're going to, uh, for the sake of your salon professionals, we're actually going, marketing is going to take some visuals and say that this is our spring collection and they'll actually give, you know how that they'll say your hair and what the, uh, um, the formula, I was going to say recipe, the formula for your hair is, yes. So we'll, we'll, we'll do a lot of fun things with it. And see, that would be cool. So like if you do is the refreshing and stuff like that, how, how often can you do it? Like, can you do every three weeks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Um, and to address something Molly talked about a little bit ago about toning and whenever you sort of shift the base with, with the demi effect lotion that we had, if you want to do that, so if you have salons that they want to sort of shift the base, they can use the demi effect lotion from Calora. We're going to talk about that. Okay, so, so there's definitely a, like a, con you can definitely combine the two lines, which is great, and that's going to be a great, Calora Gloss and Blacklight are going to be great segues into selling Calora. Does that make sense? Because you'll be able to use Calora Gloss with Calora permanent. So we'll talk about that. Okay. Can Question? Like, like once the bottle's open? Three years. Three years? That's if they don't use it in three years, they need to throw it out. Yeah. But they got to put the top back on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sometimes they don't. <laughs> I thought when we had our phone call that um, timing was kind of a big deal too. Don't, can't we do it in five to seven minutes? It, it depends on what so you want to do. Timing is three to ten minutes. Okay. We're going to talk about that. One other thing that we're going to say now, and we'll just get it out of the way. This is the only product that we have ever produced as a company that can be put under heat. Now, don't go out there and tell them to do it. But if they're going to do it anyway, so that's fine. But it can be put under heat, right? Yes, and especially whenever you're white blending, that can help a lot with opening up the cuticle. That that warmth. That's a little side note, just a little hip pocket thing there for you. <coughs> like we do in our Kalura Permanent Shine Color, we offer number and letter, so we give them that option. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, we've tried to cover everything we can with this particular brand. This is really important. Because how many times have you gone into a salon and they said to you, what is the base of that color? Uh, all the time. Okay. Now, guess what? Yeah. It's on every single category up in the corner. <laughs> on every sheet. You can see where each of our different categories of color, and it's on their book. It's right up here. Each of you will get one of these books. Any questions about this? This gives you the breakdown of each series and the base of what the color is. There, I'll show you that. In, yeah. Yes and yes. We should have some in the warehouse. There should be a... I we have ship too. You might want to pass that around. It's yeah, done you very nicely. Got a few, didn't you? No, y'all didn't get a few in your little cases? When, did everybody get a case with the shade book? Okay. Let's see, what, let's see what we got in our boxes today and then... Uh, did we they need get those DSC bags yet? Mm -hmm. everybody, got a, okay. everybody got a DSC bag, correct? Okay, good. We're going to talk about those. Okay. Yeah. Those are very, those are very nicely done. Daniel, Debbie has something to share. <laughs> um, I had my hair done by one of my stylists. She 
He's actually going to the um, educator training in October. She does a lot of English. Um, and she did my hair, and she used um, three different gloss colors in my hair. She did extra blonde for my balayage, and then she did low lights with the... Um, would you mind to stand up and stand under? It looks good. It looks beautiful. Come and stand, stand under a light so we can see it. You're welcome, Thank you for doing that for us. It looks beautiful. You're just looking so pretty. I had to tell you. It's hard in a ballroom to see, but see. I just wash my hair and I put a lot of texture spray in it. That's okay. But look how nice the color is. Yeah, it is. Cool. Because when she did the, the low light, she used the bowl and brush. And then when she toned it, after she rinsed it all out, she, she just picked out different pieces and did um, 10B on the, um, the front part and 8AI for the kind of more darker pieces in my hair. And she used the lotion. It's that. nice dimension on your hair. Very nice. Thank you for modeling for us. That was a real treat. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you know, we've allevi alleviated the problem of, like, what is the base of that color? You know, and then half of the time they don't even know why they ask that question, probably. Um, but they want to ask you, right? Yeah. Somebody else said. the people that use Calora that ask if this can be applied to Calora, and they told us no, that it's different. Oh, so, I said that. Yeah. Wait a minute, say that again. So this cannot be applied to color. They said no. And hopefully eventually they'll come out with this type of guide for color permanent. That's what they But they said no, that this is not. <laughs> this, is really like this. this is just for gloss. Yeah. Do they have one for color that they just not haven't printed on anything? No. No. Proprietary information. Oh, I know. That's it. And as far as your shade selector book, these are matched up with, with Calora series as far as the different colors. Yes. So I hear that, Sarah. These are matched up with Calora series. Calora permanent. In here. So if we do a copper and Calora, we can do our copper in here. Absolutely. Usually you want to do a one level lighter. Right. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's kind of interesting about the ash and the intense ash and then the violet and the intense violet is that you'll notice like the bar is a little bit darker. So it's one, the so, intense ash is not just like an intense form of ash. It, it's not like more of the ash pigment. It's actually one blue molecule darker than the ash. So if anybody questions you about that, it's, it's a completely different molecule than the ash. Since we're talking about that, you can talk about this additives. How about that? So you can, <laughs> you can use the additives up to 25% um, to counteract any kind of warmth. Um, and you definitely want to use the, because of that darker blue molecule for the more porous levels, the more porous hair, you want to use a lighter level because it can appear a little bit darker. Okay, say that one more time. Because the dark molecule. So when you're, when you're toning, because, do you guys have the sheet? Did we hand out those little sheets that have the Go ahead. different? So now you're talking about just the A or the A and the B. So the intense ash and the intense violet are okay. going to be darker. Yes. Whoops. So it's their sale sheet. Darker. Everything that you need is on there. One violet molecule. Um, okay. So whenever someone's here from a forest, it's going to grab that. It's going to appear a little bit darker. Everything we talked about is on this sheet. This is the official sale sheet. Mm -hmm. Anybody here? No. Oh, okay. Everything we've talked about is on this sheet. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, there it is. Perfect. The series is nice. Stuff. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm excited about this. Me too. Yeah, I would definitely dilute with clear. I would say one to one. Any questions about the additives? Pretty straightforward. Our shade selector, um, once again, 
we've tried to make this as user friendly as possible. What we did, and you probably noticed, our 24 blonding toners are set aside. The page is cut differently. So they can see that, right? <laughs> Easily. We talked about how that the bases are on each page of that particular grouping. So you'll have it. Plus everything that we've talked about is in the back. Okay? Now ultimately, um, we will only have one shade selector book with Colora and Colora Gloss, but we felt this was so important we wanted our own book first. That's everybody else that we Yes. So, and they've done a very nice job marketing did with the books. So, I, I, everything should be able to be able to explain it really easily. Okay, mixing ratio. This is about as simple as it get. gets. One to one. <laughs> Processing time. Toning, like Heather said a minute ago, is three to ten minutes. We all know that in a toning situation that varies depending upon the guest and their hair, how porous it is, and a lot of variables. Right, Heather? Yeah, and that's the same in Colora Permanent, too. Whenever you're toning with the demi effect lotion, you process it visually. It's the same process so, the longer keep it on, the darker it's going to get, or? Not necessarily, no. but depending on the porosity of the hair, that's why you want to keep your eye on it whenever you're toning, because the porosity of the hair can, it can cause it to over absorb the toner, so you just want to keep your eye on it. And if it over absorbs, what happens? It'll appear darker. When they put their, when they bleach them up to, to light, they'll put that toner on there, and they watch it by the minute, and it'll gradually get grayer and grayer, or mauver or mauvier. So get it off at the right Remember time. like how black light, how you have to watch it? Mm -hmm. yeah. What about color balance? Well, like 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Will it will get yeah. or you... It'll just get to like its intended level. Like it stops. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's not progressive. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to stop. It's going to stop. You're going to get what you're going to get. That's yeah. all. Okay. But with shades, isn't it supposed to stay on for 20 minutes with toning, but they take it off at five minutes yes. and they go, it's I remember yeah. selling shades going, it's out. Yeah. yeah. You know, two, shade, two shampoos later, it's out. Which you can't <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. Two shampoos later, it's out. Yes. Yeah. Or heat, because Roy Peter saw the sap. The minute he did shades, that's about off the hair. Well, because the dimethicone would melt off at 400 degrees, but that was before flat irons were developed. So they didn't know that. Until at that point, exactly. Is that what's building up on the hair, too, is the dimethicone? Yes. Yeah. Layer after layer after layer. Careful how you talk about that, though. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Once again, you know. I've coated a lot of products. And then, yeah, and you'll open up a big can of worms. Yep. Everything's on a need to know basis. <laughs> Remember that. Always with your stylist. If they ask, it's on a need to know. Don't volunteer anything. White blending, we're going to talk a little bit about that now in detail. Um, and please interject anything you want to. When you look at white blending, up to 30%, the stylist would use half of the neutral or neutral brown series and half of the fashion shades. Pretty simple rule, folks. She, would, she or he would either use the cream or lotion 7% developer, which we have, Processing time is 30 to 35 minutes. Now, these are going to change. 30 to 50 percent white blending. We're still staying with that formulation at 50-50. This is where we bring in the Colora Demi Effect Developer Lotion. That's what Heather was talking about a second ago. They can use this. Then we're going to go to 50 to 75 percent. We're going to change the formulation because of what reason? Because there's more white hair, correct? We're going to 75 percent 
of the Calora Gloss Neutral or Neutral Brown, and then we're going to 25% of that fashion shade. And we're staying with the Demi Effect Lotion. You know, every when we talked about, and you, you've got some people out there who are going to say, you know what, I'm totally happy, I'm getting a Demi out of Calora using Demi Effect Lotion. Okay, they're fine, they're happy, they're not going to buy it, whatever. We hope that they're going to buy this because there's reasons for it. But that's, that was the reason we named it Demi Effect. It was never classified as a Demi. See our point on that? And finally, if it's 70% or more, 75% or more, they're going to need to go to Calora Permanent Shine Color. Anything you want to add to this? Do you guys have any questions about this? So tell us, okay, so you're saying if they, they say, okay, well, sir, I've already got the Demi or whatever and stuff, so once again, tell me why they need that gloss then. Why would they mix that with gloss instead of just their toning and that's it, nothing. If, if they, they're dead if set on staying as a Demi, using their Demi effect with their Calora. With their Calora, it's just this is for your toning. So, so if you want to shift the base or break the base, base. then you would use the Demi effect. And you can still, you can use 10 or 20 volume with it if you want to. So it's not forbidden. Like they didn't put a lot of, I guess, they didn't put a lot into the research of using it with Calora, but it's not like against the rules. You can use it with Calora. So they don't guarantee, like, they don't guarantee the lift with 20 volume. But if someone, if you have a really artistic stylist that wants to try it out and even wants to try mixing the Calora permanent color with the gloss, it's, it's not against the rules. Nothing bad will happen. They just don't guarantee the lift out of it. We're going back to that zero lift. Mm -hmm. yep. If they want zero lift, they got to follow those other rules, That's though. See? Right. What was your question? I'm sorry. Um, I was going to ask for breaking the base, do you recommend sticking it um, under a dryer to be? You can for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. We all sit on this. All good? Yes. Sure. Hotel rooms and air conditioners are bad for me. <laughs> Last night, I was either hot or cold. Hot or cold. I couldn't. I was going to slip through it. I get so. Iceland in my room, so. You like it cold? <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to take a picture of this, I don't know if that would be yeah, helpful. I know did you do that? Some up, some people did. From we get this. Um, oh, I'm sure we can get it for you if you want. Yeah. yeah. You've got it. I can, yeah, I can We've got it. it. Yeah. That would be amazing. I can extract it for you, Sarah. Thank Just you. Just ask Miss Molly. Molly, thank you for <laughs> Of course, we recommend, as an organization, our aftercare, which includes our cleanser, our moisture balancing conditioner, and of course, our wonderful Calora Color Lock. This is what we recommend. We know that chances are they probably won't do it, but we recommend it. And um, but if you, so as far as rinsing goes, uh, a lot of people wanted to know if you shampoo it out. You can shampoo it out, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, so either way, if you're toning, like a lot of people, they like to shampoo and then apply their toner and then just rinse. Um, you can do that, but then you'll want to use the Calora, the lock afterwards. So technically, you can just rinse it out. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can just rinse it out and, and use the lock, the color lock. The color lock. Yep. The color lock takes it back down to a to a four. It, the color, well, the color lock is a pH of a 4.0. Because someone asked me the other yeah. day, they said, all you need to tell me is do I shampoo it out or do I rinse it out? So that's how they were determining whether it's, it was an alkaline base or... It's their preference, either way. Mm -hmm. Another option that they have. And the application is best on damp hair, clean damp hair. Our packaging, I think that, um, you know, our marketing department did a great job with it. It's eye-catching. Um, this is what you're going to see a lot of, especially in social media, and you've probably already seen a lot in social media. 
because we take great pride in what we do with social media. It's made our company what it is today. And um, we're proud of that. Do we have an influencer this year? We're getting to that. <laughs> social media. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm setting you up. There you go. We got a lot. All of these. Ladies and gentlemen, we brought all of these people to Montreal uh, in August. Mm -hmm. uh, we lose track. We have nine launches today, by the way. We have nine going on as we speak. And I have another one after this. So, um, but it's by phone, so it's an easier one. But these are all of our influencers. There are actually a few more than this, too, because um, Heather has somebody in her territory who has sent everything that he's considered. These equate to 2.7 million followers. If you went through and added up all of their followers, Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be calling you all about this product. Especially those Lisa's doing it. I mean, that, everybody still responds to it. Right? And they're going to be putting um, the hashtag Loft Getter on all of their posts. So if any of your stylists want to look that up and follow, like, their formulas or anything like that, then look up Loft Getter. We've got one on that. You'll see it in a second. Loft Getter. Yeah. Loft Getter. Yeah. 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 Okay. We got a slide on it. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, we've already finished August. As we said, we did a, a huge launch in Montreal with all of our social influencers. Um, and that particular day, I know Brian and I were going back and forth. He goes, well, can we sell this? Can we do this? And I said, you can do anything you want to after August 11th. Because we, that's one thing that we take great pride in is how that we roll out something and how we share information and we make sure that everything... Um, is down to a T, as they say in the South, um, before we do it. And it was very important that we did that at that particular point. And they did a great job in getting the information out. Um, week of September 3rd, we, uh, which has already happened, we've done um, a, a lot of things. The IGTV launch, uh, the photos are out. The Gloss Getter launch, which we're going to talk a little bit more about. And then September through October, you're going to see a lot of Instagram things, educational video, videos. And we're going to do a lot of influencer contest to, to get the uh, stylist involved. So I think that will, that will even cause more buzz for you guys and more questions and more, you know, well, I need to try this product. That's the whole key. Gloss Getter campaign. Um, our people in Montreal, they took the word go-getter and changed it to Gloss Getter. And what this is all about is just what Heather was talking about. We're really going to try to get the stylist involved of where they submit videos, where they talk about their successes, where they have a beautiful finished product and they're going to tell formulations. They're going to tell how their business grew. Um, this is so important to us. We were one of the first, if not the first company that truly embraced influencers. The big boys wouldn't even talk to them. Now they're trying to steal all ours. Mm -hmm. And they really are. <laughs> they're offering them the world. You know, Schwarzkopf and Wello and all of those people said, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. Well, it's gone really far. Because now when you go in your salons and they're back in their dispensaries or ba back in the break room, what are they doing? They're on their phone. They're on their tablet. Constantly. So we have really tapped a great resource with this. I urge all of you to use social media to the hilt. Go in your salons. If, uh, uh, you know, uh, do a video if they're, if they're doing a service. Share it. Do what you need to do to get that information out in your territories. It's very important. Once again, the photo examples of what we're doing. By the way, the bottles are two ounces. Um, this is our store merchandising. We have a point of purchase that we're using for stores. I know it doesn't affect you guys as DSCs, but we're going to be able to use this in the stores and we're going to replace these placards with various other promotions, whether it be Blacklight or any of our other brands. So they go into each of our, our store locations, as well as a large store display. I guess you all got your bags. It was a long time coming <laughs> to get these bags. We hope you enjoy them. Please put all of 
our Oligo stuff in, in these bags, and you can either put, put somebody else's in it too, as long as you carry the bag around, because it's got our logo on it. We want them to be able to see this. The brochure that we just passed around, um, I think it's very, very well done. It's not a cheap brochure. Thank you, Molly. Um, I think it, it too gives you all the information in that one little document that you need. Once again, hopefully we're answering any question or most questions that are going to come up. Sell sheet I just gave you. Everything we've talked about is on that document, folks. Make sure you have it around because you're going to be able to answer any question from that one piece of paper. Aha. At this point, we have two comparison charts. We have one for Redken and one for Schwarzkopf. There are more coming. This takes our lab a lot of work to do these. We don't like to depend on these comparison charts, but we know, and this was brought up prior to starting the meeting by Sarah discussing it with me, there's a lot of those salons are gonna say, well, I use this, what is my shade going to be? That will give you an answer. Now, these are not foolproof, but they, they should be able to get to that shade that they're trying to achieve. Now, like I took, the, the question came up, they said, well, we don't have, all these shades don't match up with what we have now. Well, they're not going to. But they should be able to create that formula that will match up or, or, or make it with what they've been using. We've got the other two. Okay. I've got the other one. I can send you to somebody if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. So we have red and sports coffee and then we have well. Do you have the well one? Oh, I have any one. You have a well one? For permanent. For permanent. No, Heather, uh, Heather? No, that's, we don't, we, our lab's not done well. Uh, you don't send that one out. Don't send that one out. <laughs> I'll send you, we'll, Molly, I, I'll send you these today. It's, no, I don't think so. Let's go ahead to the next one, Daniel. Okay. Classes are going to be, um, most of our, I think our demos we're using um, mannequins with our classes. Yep. And I know that they've already been planned. I don't know how many events you have scheduled for sure, but I know that eight events already scheduled. So let's get as many uh, folks to those events as possible. Price per bottle. We come in less than everybody else. You can thank your president, Mr. David, for that. David had a long talk with Alon about this pricing. And he said, you know what? Come in less than your competitors and we'll be able to sell more product. So we are at 595, folks. Buybacks. Starting now, we're doing buybacks. We're not doing ounce for ounce, it's bottle for bottle. Okay? It's pretty straightforward. We'll talk about that when we get to our intros really quick. Any questions that you have about, it, about them, all you have to do is reach out to Brian or Josh and they'll reach out to me. Intros. We have three intros. Intro one is $599.99, 162 shades. All this information is you, will, you have or will have. This intro is not pre-packed. They pick the shades they want. Okay? Make sure that they don't go through and only pick the 24 blonde toners. They should have at least one of each to start with. That's the large one, the big one, intro one. Intro two, 249, we drop down to 48 shades. 
our rule of thumb is this on a buyback. We will match the number on the buyback. In other words, if they buy from Sarah from you a large intro, we will buy back 162 shades or 162 bottles. Now, we have toyed with that at times, and if there is an instance that we need to negotiate on the salon, we're very aggressive, and we'll do what needs to be done. Then we have our small one. Thank you all have already sold some of these, right? I think we sold some all of them. Well, that's good. They're the $99 intros. They are pre-packed. They're the only intro that's pre-packed. They have these colors in them. Now, with that being said, what I would do, and I think this is fine by all parties, if they buy this and they love this product, I would sell them a $5.99. Go back in. When they call you and say, oh, I love gloss. Well, we've got a really great deal that we've got right now. Absolutely, right? Sure, yeah. Let's do it. Let, let's upsell them. I mean, I think that's a great way to move them into a large intro. And give them a free ticket to your class. You can still do that? If they buy it, it's the two, the big, the two large ones. Oh, really? It's a monster channel for 249. What? Do a free ticket for 249. Yeah. I thought that was just the initial. We got a lot of surprises for you. I will tell you, Daniel, we are out of some shades already. They already sold them out. Oh, wow. Even though we took the forecast from all ago, which doesn't normally happen, we took 100% of the forecast allocation, and we are out of which, some shades already. You know, and we, we didn't try to oversell you guys on that. No, it was, it was well, decent. It was you know, and we've heard, we've heard that from more than one distributor. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do we do then if they order it? They just leave it out and ship it when it comes in? If it's a kit? Well, we got to find out what the inventory is. I mean, maybe... I think there's another order there, coming in. Yeah, or tomorrow, so it may, have, may not be an issue. But, uh, what's that take? What, let me find out. More than likely, if we're out of one or two shades, they buy the intro deal normally, they just ship them out. I want to. Uh, to yeah. So you can see the before and after on the mannequins. Yeah. It was very, very interesting when Brian and his dad came out to meet with us in Las Vegas because um, I don't have a, a slide for this because EISS is the only distributor out of 32 distributors in North America that we're doing this for, or we're doing it with you guys. We want to get you all really involved. Starting today. Uh, through the end of October, you're going to get an additional 10% commission on this product. <coughs> Sorry. Yep. Not for the 10%. So, what is through October Sales starting today through October 31st. 10%. That's the thing. We're done. We're done doing pre selling. We're done. This happens to us every time. Denise and I were just talking about that. We go, and I'm not just let us, let us finish. Okay. okay. Let's finish okay. We take it off. But we've, we've got more coming. Okay. Starting today, for every $2,500 of intros of the large and the medium, that's $599 and $249, which, Sarah, this will allow you to regroup if you go back after you've sold you're 99 and they want a larger intro, you'll get $250. Oh, wait, so, okay, say that again. Okay, let's talk about the two intros, the 599 and 299. After you sell $2,500 of those intros, you're going to get $250. Through the end of October? Yes. Okay, starting today? Starting on, today. On top of the 10%? On top of the 10%. So that way, it will allow you to regroup from that point. Is that from every $2,500? Yes. If you sell 5000 you get $500. You're doing that on intros, though, not on total. Remember what I said. It only includes the 599 and 299 not open stock. 
and you all are the only distributor in North America we're doing this for. And I'm not lying about that. 